teacher brutally beaten in the middle of class at Coleraine High School. She's been hospitalized since last week and for the first time since the attack, the school district held a board meeting tonight. WLWT News Science Chris Jacobs was at that meeting and has much more on what people, including a former teacher, had to say about this. Chris? Well, Cherie, last week's incident was brought up tonight. One board member even getting emotional about it. Now, during public comment, a former teacher weighing in on the issue of school safety. I think really makes us feel we need to look at our priorities. We need to protect our teachers and our students. An emotional plea for change coming from Nancy Slattery, Northwest Local School District's newest board member. And I've been praying every day since that happened for the Northwest School District. And I hope we can turn this around. She's speaking about the attack last week at Coleraine High School. A 15-year-old student accused of attacking a 60-year-old teacher, leaving her with a severe brain injury. I was not ready to retire. I did last week. However, I do not feel safe in the school buildings. Melinda Gutzweller was with the district for more than 30 years. She's now a former Northwest Schools teacher. She says she retired early for her own safety because of incidents like the one last week. I just have a fear of being in the building. Um, there's just too much going on with the students that are in the building and I don't believe enough discipline action is being taken. We continue to support our staff and our students um, to make sure that they feel safe at work, are safe at work. Superintendent Daryl Yader says they're taking the steps to prevent violence like this from happening again. And for one board member, this marks a moment that should be a turning point. Nobody needs to be in that environment. The people who were hard or the other kids that witnessed that. It's going to scar them, and we need to change that. Now that student is facing felonious assault charges. We also learned he does not have a record, at least in Hamilton County. We did reach out to the teachers union. They told us they would not comment on an open investigation. Reporting live from Coleraine High School, Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5. Oh